Hello everyone, I'm Ben, welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are doing a little bit of a different video than usual. We're going to be doing like a networking video, I suppose, here on heavy 15 meter Cat7 Ethernet cable, basically, RJ45, of course. Uh, so this is going to be very handy. It's 15 meters for a reason. And I also have a 10 meter twisted pair ADSL RJ11 cable here as well for my modem. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you my current networking setup, how everything works with my network in the house, pretty much. As I do still get quite a few comments now and again, asking me like how to actually set up like a modem and stuff and all these things. So I'm going to kind of try to cover all that in today's video, as well as move my router modem. All right, so let's get started. Here I have my net gear xr500 like nighthawk pro gaming router massive shout out to netgear once again for sending this out to me as this is now like my primary router it looks like a ferrari to be honest it's crazy they really went for like a super aggressive like gamery look the one thing the router is missing though is rgb but i don't know if i'll ever add rgb to the router as i don't really know how i'd do it apart from like an underglow or like some rgb lights behind it but besides that it's actually a really good router and you can check out my full review about the router by pressing the card in the top right or left hand corner somewhere on the screen a card should pop up so we have my router here i've got a one terabyte external hard drive connected to the router as well so it's basically like network storage that anyone can access if you're on my wi-fi network and then of course i've also got my bt modem here as well this connects from the wall to the modem and from the modem to the router i'll explain all this more in depth in just a moment but what i really want to focus on now is moving the router and modem far away from my bed so let's jump into a quick little edit of me unplugging everything and then plugging it back in on the other side of the room <laughs> If you ever wondered where all the cables are in my setup, they're all down here beneath the radiator. All right, so I've removed the three meter ethernet cable that was running from my router to my PC. And we're gonna be replacing this one with a 15 meter one instead, as the router modem is gonna be on the other side of the room. The next thing we have to do is run the RJ11 ADSL cable from my micro filter all the way to my modem. I've got another cable trunking kit here as well. So what we'll do is we'll hide the cables inside of here. All right, so it's the next day right now. Last night we moved the modem and router from my windowsill all the way to the other end of my room right here. They're now sitting on top of a drawer so they've got a nice little place for themselves, I suppose, instead of being on my windowsill. So over here I have my Netgear XR500 like pro gaming Wi-Fi router. It's got some really cool features like quality of service, geo filtering, as well as a device manager. You can see each individual device that's on your Wi-Fi network displayed on your screen, it's awesome. But apart from that, we also have a modem right here from BT. That's the BT Smart Hub right there. And right next to that, there's also a Canon G7X Mark II like battery charger right there to charge my spare battery for my camera. And then there's also the one terabyte hard drive attached to the router right there to give me some network storage so all of the devices on my wi-fi network can share a full terabyte of storage between them and now let's do a quick little recap of how the internet goes from the wall to my modem to my router and then to my pcs okay so over here i've got a phone line extension socket from that socket i've got an adsl micro filter splitting the connection into an adsl modem as well as a phone and as i don't have a landline phone i've just got my adsl twisted pair cable connected to that right here so from that micro filter there's a 10 meter adsl cable running all through here behind the cupboard and everything and that adsl cable connects to the back of my modem right here from my modem i've got a half a meter cat 7 ethernet cable running from the first port on the modem to the internet port at the back of my router from the router i've got a 15 meter cat 7 ethernet cable running from the router all the way behind the cupboard through the cable trunking kit behind the bed through another cable trunking kit that's underneath my radiator and then finally into my pc so that's my current networking setup that's us all connected together and stuff and there's a few reasons why i actually moved the router and modem from my windowsill over to the other end of my room right there so one reason is that you probably don't want to be sleeping next to a router you know that's not a very good idea and on top of that having a modem and router on your windowsill isn't very eye-pleasing either so i moved them over here and i've actually got a little bit more space to actually work with now they've got their own dedicated 
dedicated spot in the room and I recently bought Philips Hue so that came with a Philips Hue smart bridge but that's going to be connected via Ethernet over on the drawer as well and then there's also an Arlo Pro security camera kit coming in in a few days that has its own hub I think and it's all going to have to be connected via Ethernet I don't know how big the Arlo security camera hub will be but we'll find out when it arrives here I suppose so that's all going to be sitting over there I'll probably make an update video once everything is set up once I've got the Philips Hue smart bridge as well as my security camera set up those two devices are also going to be sitting on the drawer there so apart from that I hope you enjoyed watching the video everything that I mentioned today is going to be linked in the description down below as always including the Ethernet cables the ADSL cable the modem the router you know all that stuff is linked in the description down below for you in case you want to go pick it up yourself and replicate my networking setup here I suppose but yeah thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video soon goodbye